it's got a very natural effect. Absolutely, absolutely. It makes you look like the, yourself, but younger and fresher. Yes, yes, and that's the way it should be. That's right. That's correct. Now, who's a typical candidate doctor for this? I've had patients from in the 20s to 90s, so the spectrum goes all the way. But there are two major peaks. Uh, you have between 40 to 55, and you have 60 and above. Okay. Um, 40 to 55 is mostly cosmetic, or almost all cosmetic. They don't like the puffiness of the lower lid. They don't like that hooding effect of the upper lid, which gives them older look. Then you have the over 65, they're more concerned about the vision. Okay. Um, and that droopiness of the skin of the upper lid actually blocks the vision for them. Mm. And it creates um, difficulty driving. At night, they, see, they don't see as well because part of the light has been cut off. Uh, and so those, uh, that population is more interested, not only look better, but also they get the improved vision as opposed to younger, which is usually just... See, younger is more obviously looking for the cosmetic Absolutely. benefit Absolutely. to look younger, mm -hmm. feel better. The older, meaning the 65 mm -hmm. years and older, is looking more so, in addition to looking better, but more so to correct the medical problems. Absolutely. That and functional there. part of yes. it. Now, I believe you have some patient before and after pictures that you'd like to show us? Yes, I'll be glad to do that. And, and you will see that the before and after, what is important is look at the after. Before, everybody knows what they look like. Yes. What's important is to look at the after. Does that patient look natural? Does that yes. patient uh, surgery screams, I had surgery, or you have no idea they had surgery, they just look good. And that's what is important to remember that after, after picture is more important than the before. Well, let's take a look. Okay. On the first patient, you can see on the left side, she has um, wrinkling of the upper lid. She has some puffiness of the lower lid and she just did not like the way she looked. She said, I look like my mother already and I'm too young for that. So um, she underwent the surgery on the upper lid and you can see that the um, excess skin is removed. This, these pictures are all three months after, after everything has been settled down and the scar process has finished. Which, uh, the scar process is part of the healing process. And the lower lids, bags are gone and you can see everything looks natural. They just look younger. In the second picture, you will see it's the view from the side. Most people don't see themselves from the side, so they don't have any idea how the excess skin and the bagginess of the lower lid affects their, their look. Um, in this picture, on the left side, you will see the excess skin of the upper lid and the eyebrow, which has moved down. And you have also the wrinkling effect on the lower lid and the bagginess of the lower lid. On the picture on the right side, you will see the excess skin is removed. The eyebrows are positioned slightly higher just to prevent the droop of the eye, uh, eyebrow over time. And also the lower lid um, bags are removed. Uh, if you notice, in this uh, patient, there is no scar line visible. The surgery on the lower lid was done from inside. No skin was removed from the lower lid. Upper lid skin was removed and scar process heals. And you can uh, notice that she looks about 15, 20 years younger. And plus, she can see much better because that hooding is not there anymore. In the third patient, you can see that before the surgery, she had puffy lower lids and uh, she did not li like that uh, look. She felt that uh, she always looked tired, even though she was sleeping well at night, and people were commenting on her bags on the lower lid. After the surgery, which was done through the inside of the eyelid, the bags are removed, no skin was removed, so there's no scar, and that is very important in Afro-American patients because they do not scar well. Sometimes they leave a white line or sometimes they leave a darker line. So in this case, these are ideal patients to remove bags from inside of the eyelid, not removing any marks, and you can see how fresher she looks, and she absolutely loved the look to, that she had after surgery, and um, nobody commented anymore as to why she's tired. On the fourth patient, she's an Asian patient, and it's also in a large uh, section of population. Uh, Asian patients have a tendency to uh, suffer from a droopiness of the upper lid, which is much worse than in Western eyes. The structure of the eyelid is such that they sag very quickly and hangs down over the eye uh, very quickly over, the, uh, over time. Uh, in this patient, you can see on the left side, that was before surgery, the sagginess of the upper lid is really obstructing her vision. 
um, the lower lid bags also were there and she didn't like the way she looked because she looked old and tired. So after uh, this picture on the right side shows you after surgery, the bags of the lower lid are gone, the upper lid skin, excessive skin is removed, her vision is improved, you can see the reflection of the light in her eye, which means she can see outside when the uh, picture is taken with the camera. So overall, not only she looks better, she sees better, and she was absolutely delighted with the uh, result after the surgery. From this last of the pictures, you will see a surgery done on men. Uh, ironically, a lot of men think that the surgery is not appropriate for them, it's only women having surgery. Um, Men actually is a good number of my uh, patients, and you can see on the picture on the left side, this gentleman had a droopiness of his um, skin of the eyelid, the eyebrow was uh, sagging down, his lower lid were puffy, and he just felt old, and he didn't like the, the look of old and tired that he had. So after the surgery, you can see on the picture on the right side, the eyebrow is back to a normal position, the excess skin of the upper lid is removed, but you notice the, uh, the look is still a masculine look, is not a feminine look, which is very important to respect when you're doing a surgery. The bags on the lower lid is gone, but again, it doesn't look, he had had surgery or it's sunken looking or abnormal. Uh, what is important always to look at the after surgery because that gives you an idea how a person would look after surgery and this is absolutely natural looking. Some very impressive work Dr. Hermosi and based on what we just saw from those five different patients not only do they look years younger in the after pictures but it's so natural looking. You, as we commented earlier in this mm -hmm. interview people who've had a are going to have a cosmetic procedure done don't want to look like they were quote done and sure. certainly very impressive work and very natural appearance from the result from the work you just did thank you actually this is one of the biggest fear of patients when they come to me they say i don't want to look like somebody who has had surgery that's my fear or my husband's fear or my wife's fear I, they don't want me to look different and that's uh, my goal to give a natural look, non-surgerized look, but look better and get the result without having all that the unpleasant uh, experience that many have had in the past. That's right. And I also noticed that us guys are having these procedures too on occasion from that fifth patient we just saw. Absolutely. It's, it's I would say about 20 to 30 percent of my surgery is all men. Yes. And uh, they don't like to look older either. That's right. <laughs> they don't like That's to look right. tired. In the workforce, they have to be older, uh, I'm saying older, but maybe in the 50s and 60s, they have to compete with the 20 and 30 years yes. old. And they don't like to be considered like the father there. Mm -hmm. So they, they like to look younger and fresher, and uh, that right. makes a difference as to how they present themselves. When you feel, you look good, you feel good. That's if correct. you look young,